Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, while the weather's bad and I'm a bit ill and uh, not really doing any work, I thought I'd just stop and um, share a qu few quick updates with you where I am with my truck. Um, uh, concepts that I've been thinking about for a while for an unusual winch system. Um, that's basically because I was saying hello to Daniel HRC earlier. Uh, please check uh, the chap's um, channel out. Uh, I'll leave the link in the um, description underneath the title below. Uh, he's got um, some really nice gear on there. And uh, I was just chatting to him earlier about a winch system for a 6x6 truck. And the concept I've had in my mind for a while for this unusual six-wheeler um, that I've been working on here is uh, it's certainly not practical, I imagine, for you know real life scale I can't I wouldn't like to rely on an emergency but I thought it'd be a bit entertaining um, so I just thought I'd give you a brief glimpse onto my idea that I've kind of come up with which is a bit strange so uh, a while back I trekked down a company using Google because I couldn't find any decent stuff on eBay for a reasonable price uh, I tracked down some knitting all rod this stuff and basically this knitting all rod I got about what half a meter here um the the it's the thick version of knitting all wire and knitting all wire what you can do is it's a it's a normal wire like a copper wire a thin wire thin gauge wire and you can bend it into what whatever shape you'd like and then if you heat it over say you know a candle or a flame for um I don't know 10 or 20 seconds and then you cool it in uh, cold water straight away the shape is impressed into the the wire and um, once you straighten it out again and you put either heat or current through the wire it goes back to the shape you you've you know programmed into the metal so this knitting all wire is sorry this knitting all cable is the thick version of the knitting all wire and this is a bit more problem to, problematic to work with because where you need 10 seconds say on a very very thin gauge wire so the the wire retains its shape the um, knitting all rod takes a lot more heating and a lot more messing to get you know the results you're after so basically my idea was to take this knitting all rod chop it off in say two inch sections at a time so I've got about four of them this long and bend them into you know little hook shapes heat them bend it so when it's heated it retains its shape in a grapple like hook one arm of a grapple and then strap all four of them together with the hook space in the opposite way so when I bend them all back together they should create a spear they should all be flat and just be four long uh, spear points but if I then connect the the spear to um, a cable um, uh, electric conductive cable I did want to maybe think of using um, fishing uh, line stuff because that does look pretty strong but um, because I want to run voltage down it if I can connect it to the chassis of the truck using um, a steel cable what I could then do is have the 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 spear mounted in a little um, uh, a little spring loaded firing mechanism on a servo so when when the, the spear is shot out um, when the spear is shot out the grapple then kicks in on the front of the truck as electric is passing through the cable into the spear so the grapple then it then changes from a spear into the grapple where it then digs into the floor or rock or root or whatever i can dig into for the for then the winch to winch the truck out of the mud i mean that's got ambition written all over it um, but I did think it was uh, a novel kind of uh, idea at going about winching system. Ah, and also to note is I've finally worked out what scale this truck is. 
Um, basically, over the last year kind of thing of making this truck, it's gone from a 1.8 scale to a massive truck and I couldn't work out where the scale has landed. And I should have really because basically I've worked out that Leonard Nimoy, who's just in the back there, we'll see if we can voyeur in on him there, just resting. He was a bit ill after his helicopter ride the other day. Um, basically, Leonard was in life, he was 1.8 meters, and in the truck lying in his bed there, he's 10 centimeters, which makes this entire truck a 1 to 18 scale. And in 1 to 18 scale, this truck breaks down as 15.6 meters long and 5.6 meters wide and 5.6 meters tall which is pretty massive so um, yeah I thought I'd share that with you guys and uh, a quick update so yeah I think this truck's ready to go now um, basically I took out the glow plug the other day and I took apart the glow stick uh, cleaned the glow stick thoroughly checked the battery put it all back together uh, when I charged it well and then checked the glow plug in my hand with the glow stick um, it got red hot like a cigarette lighter um, so that's a really good sign and I think that wasn't happening before and that before I was flooding the engine when I was trying to start it and it just couldn't spark to life um, so thank you Daniel HRC for giving me some input on the winch mechanisms um, the Fleet test harpoon system for the um, uh, plane to boat looks really good um, can't wait to see your uh, winch system come along and your truck come along there um, love to see something about six wheelers is pretty awesome um, so yeah uh, keep an eye out and hopefully the next time you see this will be with a load of belching smoke coming out of it and it looking a bit cooler than its stationary self so Thanks for watching and I'll uh, catch you guys later. Thanks, see us.